hi guys and welcome to today's video i'm doing my first ever clean with me so that's exciting i give the flat a really deep thorough clean once a week and then i just clean it throughout the week as well just doing little cleans here and there and yeah it's currently in a state i just want to say i don't normally let it get this messy but i knew i was doing this video so i stopped tidying as i went along if that makes sense okay so this is the current state of things loads of stuff there i don't even know what that is I've been shooting this morning, so I've just got shoes, mirrors, bags, um, my lunch is there. Yeah, as you can see, it is an absolute mess, which really stresses me out. So yeah, let's tackle this together. I'm going to start off with the kitchen. Okay, so I'm just starting by clearing the kitchen, taking out the bins, getting rid of anything on the side, loading the dishwasher, that sort of thing. So I will clean the fridge once a week and I'll start by taking everything out and giving it a bit of a reshuffle. I will then give it a good clean with my Method Cleaning Spray. This stuff smells amazing. I've got the lavender scent and I absolutely love it. I will then finish off by getting a Dettol wipe and just going over everything. These are just a little bit better for getting in like the small nooks and crannies. And voila, clean fridge. I'll just quickly go over the front of it as well with an anti-back wipe. For the hob, I'll use this Sif cream. It's really good for lifting any dirt and grease. And I'll just go over this with a sponge. At the end, I'll then go over it with a microfiber cloth. This just makes it super nice and shiny. The back bit of the kitchen is kind of mirrored, so I find that using window lean works best for cleaning this bit. And again, I'll just use my microfiber cloth. I did actually clean the toaster and the kettle too, but I can't find the footage for that, oops. Anyway, here I'm just wiping the surfaces down with my Method spray again, and I'm just wiping all of the crumbs down onto the floor because I know I'm about to vacuum and mop it anyway. I'll then give our blender a good clean. I use this every day, so it does tend to get a bit dirty. And again, just using a Dettol wipe because you can really get in there. Here I'm just changing the dishmatic head, I'll do this once a week because they get so gross after a week. And then just filling it up with a washing up liquid too. For the sink I'm just cleaning it with this bleach spray and sif again and just giving it a really good scrub and rinse around. And then just giving it a bit of a dry and polish with a paper towel. I will then spray a paper towel with some anti-back again and just go over all of the cupboards, giving them a nice clean, getting rid of any spillages or finger marks and stuff. And then for the microwave and cooker, I'll go in with the window lean again because it makes it nice and shiny and gets rid of any fingerprints. I'll then finish with a good old vacuum. The one I use is this Swan handheld one and it's really, really good. I love it. It also has this really good nozzle attachment, which is just great for getting in the corners and picking up little bits of dirt. I'll then finish by filling up the sink with boiling hot water and adding a capful of the Sephora Linen Fresh. This will make the whole house smell like clean washing and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then this will slowly also like go down the drain and disinfect the drain too. Now onto the living space and I'm tying up my hair into a ponytail which means serious business. 
I'm just going to start off by decluttering the dining table. So half of these flowers were dead so I just binned the dead ones and mixed it in with this other bouquet of flowers to make a new bouquet. And again just going in with the method cleaning spray to disinfect the surfaces and give it a good dust as well. So I actually haven't cleaned this mirror since we moved in which is so bad and I've been taking a lot of mirror selfies recently and I've literally been editing out the specks of dust so it was definitely time for a good clean. And now I'm just giving the chairs a bit of a hoover. Now onto the living room area and I'm just cleaning up these wires, putting them in my little tech box here. And my candles into my candle box. And then just giving everything a good dust. And don't forget to anti-back your remotes because you're touching them all the time so they pick up bacteria quite easily. Now I'm just clearing the sofa, getting rid of any stuff that's on there, putting this blanket in the wash. I actually want to get a really nice like faux fur blanket for the sofa, so if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. And now I'm just taking all of the cushions off the sofa to give them a good plump and vacuum behind the sofa where like crumbs and stuff fall down. And finally just spraying it down with some water mixed in with fabric softener. This just keeps it smelling really nice and fresh. Okay, that is so much better. I've completed the kitchen, dining area, Let's ignore that. Oh my god, and ignore my tan. I faked tan this morning and obviously I shouldn't have because I've been cleaning, so it's come with my hands. There we go, the sofa's looking much nicer and the TV unit is all nice and tidy. Okay, now on to the rest of the mess. This is currently my hallway. We have some washing, some bins, some cleaning products, a mirror, my ring light. Right, okay, now on to my room. So, my room has never looked like this, by the way. This is horrible, but like I said, I have just been shooting, so I've just been chucking things everywhere. So yeah, I've got this pile of clothes on the floor I need to sort out, and then I've got all of this. Some of these are deliveries, and just things I need to sort out. My bedside table's a mess. My bathroom is also a mess. So I'm just going to start by clearing the floor, hanging up my clothes, folding up jeans. And now I'm just clearing up my chest of drawers. Stuff has just built up here over the last couple of days. Well, this is a UV nail kit that I bought off of Amazon a couple of days ago. Still yet to use it, but I'll let you guys know how I get on. Now I'm just giving my bedside tables a dust. I use different dusters for each room, so my bedroom is the green duster. <laughs> I'm now just vacuuming my floor and it gets so much fluff all over it, especially from like clothes and stuff. The jogging bottoms that I'm wearing right now are literally shedding like no tomorrow. 
Oh, and they are from New Look, by the way. I will link them down below because I know you guys will ask. <laughs> And now onto my ensuite. I'm just clearing the sides as always, ready to give them a clean. And for my bathroom, I use the Method Surface Cleaner. This one is eucalyptus and mint, and it smells so fresh. I absolutely love it. And again, using the window lean to clean the glass in the shower, just because I find this is quite strong and it just really gets rid of all of the residue. And then just giving the towel rail a nice polish. And then for the toilet, I will just use a Detto wipe just because I feel like this is a bit more hygienic as opposed to a reusable cloth. I'll then go round with some bleach and leave this for around 20 minutes. Okay, that is the bathroom done, all nice and sparkly and clean my bedroom is nearly done i've kind of tidied up most of the mess um just need to do some washing And I am done with my room. Looks so much better. I'm just gonna finish off with this stuff. This smells so lovely. It smells like clean washing. Okay, the next room is Bee's and obviously she isn't living here at the moment. So I'm kind of using it as a laundry room, but it just needs a bit of a tidy really. I'm just moving the mirror so I can move this bedside table where the mirror was. This was my old bedside table and I'm just temporarily putting it in Bee's room until I can carry it into my car. And then just making her bed a little bit more neat and tidy, rearranging the pillows, that sort of thing. There we go, Bee's room is looking much nicer too now. So the last bit I've got to do is this hallway here. I've got some washing just there and then all of these random bits. And then the final thing I will do is just spray all of the handles and light switches in the house because these are obviously things that you touch all of the time and you want them to be nice and clean. There we go, all nice and clean. This is Bee's bathroom in here, but I don't use it. So I'm gonna leave that, but yeah, nice and tidy, clean house which makes me so, so, so happy. I am actually exhausted now though, so I'm going to light some candles and have my dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it in my first ever clean with me. And if you'd like me to do more, then give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. I love you all so, so, so much. Bye.